How was that putt on Saturday? Where'd y'all go? Riding. Mm. Up in the mountains, I hope. Up in the mountains, we've got the great uh, beaches, the gas lamp. I hear that you folks populated the gas lamp uh, until the wee hours of the morning uh, uh, Saturday. Is that true? Are you having fun in San Diego, ladies and gentlemen? I don't, I don't know, Harold. This is, sounds like a pretty anemic group. Shall I ask again? Are you enjoying San Diego, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. <laughs> you're awake now. Hi, my name is Marty Emerald, and uh, I uh, am not just a member of the San Diego City Council, but I chair the Public Safety Committee. Uh, and I have found over the course of the last year and a half that I've been on the City Council now, I, I had a 30-year career in broadcasting as a consumer advocate, just so you know. Uh, I, have, I have found myself inspired to advocate for public safety. After all, that is the number one purpose of government, ladies and gentlemen, to protect and to serve. And, and I'm so happy that you're enjoying yourself in San Diego, and, and despite all the wonderful things that we have here, the great quality of life, I, I just want you to know, we share the pain with each and every one of you and each and every fire department you represent uh, in the United States and Canada, and I guess Australia, is it on the verge of uh, coming on board too? I hope so. <laughs> oh, oh, am I speaking out of turn here? Typical media people, you know, big mouths. Anyway, uh, I want you to know we, do, we share the pain. Here in San Diego, our budget cutting has been so deep that we've had to park eight engines, eight engine companies, and that's in addition to the 22 uh, that were short already. And so uh, our firefighters like yours, in the, the cities, the towns, uh, the rural areas you represent are struggling under the same budget constraints that you are. And I know I've only got a couple of minutes here, but uh, I know San Diego, like so many communities across this country, this November uh, will have a measure on the ballot asking our constituents, asking the people of our communities to give a little more in sales taxes, new revenues, and ladies and gentlemen, if, if I can just share one thought with you uh, today, while you're here in San Diego and then heading back home, none of us can afford to sit on the sidelines in November. None of us, not one of us can sit and just watch the news and read the headlines. We all need to be out on the streets. We need to be in our community groups. We have to be out there advocating for more funding because I know that's what plagues each and every one of you. And it's not just about the money, it's about lives. It's about protecting and serving the primary job of government, your primary job as lifesavers every day. Uh, to make sure that you're able to save lives, that you get to fires on time and medical emergencies on time, and that you get home safely at the end of your shift. So as a, public, as a publicly elected official here, uh, I, I pledge that I'm going to be out there on the streets, going door to door, doing whatever it takes to drag people to the polls and get out the vote in November. It's never been so important because uh, lives will be saved if each of us work together. Uh, you'll be hearing from our fire chief in just a moment. Our mayor is off to talk to the editorial board now, the newspaper, uh, to speak out in favor of more revenues for our public safety. Uh, and so I hope that you enjoy this wonderful convention. You're able to take care of the important business uh, that, that keeps you strong and keeps you effective uh, where you live. But also, think toward November, ladies and gentlemen. We need the revenues so that we can save lives, so we can fulfill our purpose to protect and to serve. Thanks for everything you do, and uh, enjoy your stay in San Diego.